All right, baby, are you ready? Yes. You ready for your first step on the Norwegian Prima? Yes. Actually, your first step on any Norwegian ship. Yeah, very much. Ready? One, two, three. Go. There you go. <laughs> Morning. Keep going. Watch your All right. Step. We are inside the Norwegian Prima. All right. So we got to scan in here first. We are now looking for our muster station. We should be right. He said B2. That was in this area here. Chris here with High Seas Cruising, and welcome to Embarkation Day on board the Norwegian Prima. We're on board the ship. We did our muster drill. It took a couple of seconds. Now we're going to kind of figure out the ship since it's our first time on Norwegian, first time on the Prima. We're going to kind of explore a little, around a little bit, get. You know, get the general layout, see what's going on, find something to eat, and then they said the room should be ready about around 1.30, 2 o'clock. So, are you ready to go exploring? Yes. All right, let's go exploring. So, found shops. We're heading currently for the aft elevators. Should be easier to get up on the top deck since everybody's boarding near the front. Right, so, Tiffany has already found a swing chair. Is that where you're planning on staying for a while? It might be. Is it's it nap pretty time? Comfortable. Is it nap time? Yeah. It's nap time. <laughs> so we are heading towards the Indulge Food Hall. Tiffany is on board the ship. She is ready to eat. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Not sure what's going on over there, but that looks pretty good. Oh, it says right here. Talks about the ovens. So what do we have? It's like Indian food. The tapas. The garden. They got a Starbucks back here, a rotisserie. Is this good? Yeah. It's a good place right here. So we are here in the Indoge food hall. And so far, this place is really, really neat. So kind of check this out. I'm going to flip the screen around. So there's a tablet that's on your table. And you just come through and you pick whether you want the garden or the Latin Quarter. You go down, pick whatever food items you want. Good morning, ladies and oh, gentlemen. We're going to get an interrupt by announcement. This is Fidesz, your assistant program director. And I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the beautiful Norwegian Prima. We will begin to provide you with very important safety information. And we please ask safety for your time. attention. You ready for the we safety brief? We request that all passengers She's proceed already to their assembly station to familiarize themselves with the locations on board, as well as the safety procedures, which may be adopted in the event of a real emergency. Okay, now that the announcement over there, yeah, but you just go through the menu, you select from like Latin Quarter, Rotisserie, that tapas dessert, non-alcoholic beverages, you just kind of pick what you want, add it up over here. When we hit send, the, this is included in your cruise fare, so you don't pay anything extra. So we're gonna order up some lunch and yes. try some stuff out. You ready? Yes. All right, let's eat lunch. All right, so what'd you get over there, baby? I got some kind of nachos <laughs> and of course guacamole. Nachos and guacamole. And I got a Thank you. barbecue turkey sandwich. It comes with potato salad, coleslaw, and of course, I've already had to go over to the dessert cart, but we're for kind of figuring it out as we go here. Yes. So we're going to try something new. This is chicken korma from the Indian restaurant, and Tiffany here is going to be our official <laughs> taste tester for chicken korma. We're going to avoid the big jalapeno. I don't think that's a jalapeno. It's definitely a pepper, but I'm not positive that's a, a jalapeno. Um, so grab a piece of that chicken and go after it, baby. She's slacking. Now we also got the beef kebab, and it's got some macaroni, tomatoes, and cucumber salad with that. We're kind of trying a little bit of everything. So what do you think of the chicken corn? It's good. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but it's real creamy. And apparently we don't know how to use the ordering system over here because now we have two beef kebabs. So we're going to have an extra full lunch today. Yes. I 
hope you're enjoying your intergalactic voyage. I hope your vacation is out of this world, or should I say, universe. Awesome. All right, so now we're in the Galaxy Pavilion, and this is all, it looks like, different types of rides, virtual reality rides. Over here, so you got a truck simulator, something called the Play Cube, a VR maze, the dark ride, something with a truck over there. There's an escape room. Now, all of this does cost additional. You got a nice space wall. And you got the Norwegian Prima ship model. And so we have found our cabin. We are cabin 10761. And Tiffany's gonna play with all the buttons and figure out what lights and things do. Oh, you're showing me? Yeah, because it says make up room, do not disturb, and home. And as soon as you flicked on the lights, the home light came on. Okay. So I guess when you turn that on, that activates those lights right there. I guess so. All right. Let's go in the cabin. So now we have been in the cabin here for a couple of minutes, did our little room tour video, got that all out of the way. I have to say, though, the room, I'm liking this room. Just from the little bit we've been in here, plenty of places to plug in, lots of power sources. One of the nicest bathrooms, you know, on board a cruise ship that we've seen, to be honest with you. And this, you know, not a suite, not any kind of fancy room. It's an inside cabin. And just not having a shower curtain, giving you the hiney touch, soft touch drawers. Um, the room is pretty. Yeah. Um, USB outlets everywhere. So. Yeah, I'm liking this room. I have to say, Norwegian Cruise Lines got a decent little cabin here. I'll be able to say better about how it is at the end of the week, but first impressions are some good impressions. Uh, but just kind of catch you guys up on where we are so far for the day. Obviously, we made it through embarkation since we're on the ship. A little slower than we were used to. Uh, a little bit of some lines this morning, but nothing terrible had to wait I don't know, about 30 minutes in the terminal before they let it everybody start boarding the ship but it was organized yes very organized it was organized and one thing that we noticed here on Norwegian that we we hadn't seen before is they give you your sign and sell card your room key and everything in the cruise terminal so you didn't have to wait to go get it from your cabin anything like that they gave it to us right away mm -hmm. not something we're used to normally you have to get it at the cabin but nope Norwegian gave it to us immediately so we had our room key right away. Next up is going to be the sail away. I'm uh, gonna do a little more ship exploring, but next is gonna be sail away. I don't know how that's going to go, to be honest with you. One thing I have noticed when we were up there on deck 17, the pool deck, is because of the racetrack, the go-kart track, and the way the ship is designed, there is very little area around the pool. And there's no deck that you can actually stand on and look down, you know, and observe sail away. So, I don't know if a lot of people want to go to sail away. It may be too crowded to really even be able to film that. But we're going to take a look. That's not till 3.30. Yeah. we got some ship exploration to do. We've already found a couple of interesting things. So, let's get back to it. Yes. Oh, the Skywalk. I like these ones with the glass floors when you can look straight down. You guys want to see something really funny? It goes all the way around. Here's the funny part. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Tiffany does not like these glass floors at all. <laughs> yeah, it comes all the way around. It's got some dots on it, so you can't quite see it super clear, but it's pretty obvious that uh, it's a glass floor there. Friends, they, uh, they couldn't believe there was a racetrack on this <laughs> ship. I said, oh, baby. Your mission 
Now, I told you guys earlier, we have our friend James. He's on this cruise with us. It also happens to be his birthday this week. So Tiffany, well, she's going to go up and terrorize his cabin door. But I don't want to get caught. So I will be in disguise. <laughs> I won't get caught doing this. All right, so we're off to terrorize a cabin door. Tiffany is on the mission. She is looking for his room. She has a handful of decorations. See her? She's going to cause mischief and trouble. But me, I'm still avoiding the security cams. They'll never know it's me. Right, baby? <laughs> he was in there. We're making a quick escape. We're going to have to come back. We had to temporarily abort the shenanigans. Tiffany got the times wrong. We thought he was going to be out of his room at 5 for something for an activity. It's not till 5.30. We almost got caught. All right, shenanigans take two. <laughs> All right, he's gone. So here she goes. She's going to start to decorate. All right, so she's got a whole pile of stuff here on the floor. Right, so she's got, she's got some stuff up. She's got a whole pile of stuff here on the floor. All right, are you gonna be able to get that up across? You may have to tear, tear it in half. Okay, here she goes. All right, all right, I'm on lookout. Dun, 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 dun. I forgot my mask this time. I don't want him to know who I am. Here we go. This is the final product. So Tiffany has officially shenanigan James's door, and now we are out of here before we get caught. Let's go. Are you proud of yourself? Yes, very. <laughs> now, and he warned him ahead of time. Now my question is: Is how many y'all really still want to go on a group cruise with us after this? <laughs> Crazy. That got to throw somebody off. They got infinity like mirrors here in the elevators. So we are up here on deck. 18 and you have the miniature golf course you got a photo booth if you want to get your picture taken and then, I have no idea what this is right that's just some blue lights Oh, that's to the water slide. That's to the uh, the drop water slide, or the drop slide. Yep, you have the drop. Down here, this is the vibe. You have the rush slides with the blue lights. Stadium. Some of the periodic tables. I like this. So I got Tiffany hanging out in the liquor store. This is proof. What are you looking for, Barry? Tequila, whiskey, uh, rum. rum. <laughs> Embarkation day has come to an official end. We have had a fun first day. Yes. Uh, like in the Norwegian, like in Norwegian Prima. So far, good things. We're gonna have good things to say so far at the end of this cruise. Uh, we ended up going to the local for dinner tonight, but look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We were hungry and the food was great, looked amazing and it came and we ate it and I didn't film it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll go back, we will. It was that good and it's complimentary. It's included in the cruise fare. Yeah. Um, Lots of places on the ship like that. Yeah, seem to be a lot of options and choices that are included, and really, really like that. 
we had a lot of fun messing with James in his door. When we left him a little bit ago, he had not been back to his cabin and seen it yet. So we don't have a reaction. We'll be getting that probably tomorrow. So we hadn't seen it yet. So we're looking to see how he feels about what Tiffany did. If he didn't like it, Tiffany did it. You guys saw the video. <laughs> okay. I was there to witness the, the shenanigans that she was performing. But we're going to shut it down for today. Tomorrow is a sea day. Got some adventures planned for tomorrow, but tonight it is time to get some rest. Yes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we'll see you out on the high seas. Thank you.